Now the picture's kind of faint to me, and the paint's a little smeared. The night was dark and the road was slick as lights from town drew near. I was told on the phone that my little girl might die, and this was cause for my driving fast. My blood ran cold, and I tried not to think that each breath might be her last. Well, I was about to lose my mind as I gathered speed with with three miles left to go. That curve came fast, way too fast, and my car began to roll. Well, when I came to, I tried to speak, but, but my body was paralyzed. And somebody said, why, this feller's dead. He took his finger and he closed my eyes. Hey, I ain't dead, fellers. Listen to my heart. What's the matter with you guys? I wanted to yell, but my lips wouldn't move like they was disconnected from my mind. Then someone said, the ambulance is here. You guys let the doctor through. I said, there he is, doc. We covered him up. They, there's not much the doctor can do. But with his stethoscope, he heard my heart, and he gently opened my eyes. Said my back was broke, but then again, I was lucky to be alive. My little girl, doctor, please, could you, could you find out if she's all right? I saw him smile, but I knew in my heart that he couldn't read my mind. But he found a note inside my coat, and from the card he found my name. Then in my ear so I could hear, he whispered my, my baby's name. She's all right, son, I just left her. You see, I'm her doctor too. So you be real quiet and it won't be long till you'll be as good as new. Your little girl has a nice big old room and I'm gonna radio ahead. I'll tell them her dad's gonna visit a while and they'll move in another bed. Well, my, my eyes was fixed and I couldn't smile, but my heart swelled up inside. I hope the doctor saw my heart say thanks as it pushed a tear outside. <laughs>